Hello everybody, Got Blake here, and welcome to part 2 of the Toontown Corp Clash walkthrough. Yes, okay. So, I have sent some uh, gifts to my new tune, Snagglecorn, from my main tune. This is her right here. You know, I'm, I'm pretty far into the game, I'm pretty, uh, pretty far, I need to get new gags. But, uh, but yes, this is my main tune. You might occasionally see them pop up in these episodes if I need uh, an extra hand, you never know. But, uh, yes. Well, uh, we're gonna go see if the thing actually arrived. Uh, Toontown gifts, at least in Corporate Clash, are very buggy. Sometimes they'll actually, like, you know, sometimes you'll actually get them, sometimes you won't. And it looks like we might not have actually received it. That's a bit of an issue. Um, they are very buggy. Sometimes they just won't appear. And it's, it's, um... Yeah, it, it, it's it's not great. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, we'll figure something out. I'll have to see if I can get this fixed. <laughs> Alright, I'm re-logging to see if it actually appears. Uh, we will see. And it doesn't seem to have appeared. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Alright, uh, jump ahead about two minutes, I've re-logged into the game, and we got him! We got all the emotes, let's go! We also got a little hat, um, this is our first accessory, and uh, look at me, I'm, I'm Alex Jones, let's go! So, last we left off in the last episode, we had to go talk to Matahari. So uh, we're going to do that, and we're also going to get all our daily tasks done. Uh, these are very simple, these overlap. Uh, we only need to do 12 cogs, so here. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. But you know, before we do any of that, there's one thing I want to do this episode. And I'd really like to do some fishing. Now the way this works, it's a little point and shoot type thing. So you just do this, and... If your rod touches those little black spots where the fish are, uh, you instantly get the fish. Uh, like so. And the rod you start out with gives you only cost one jelly bean to do a cast. Thank you very much. And it's a very simple fishing mechanic. And I, I really enjoy it. It's very addicting, very relaxing to do. It's a lot of fun. And you have a fishing XP bar too. And every 10 levels, uh, you will get a one laugh boost. This is very different to the way it worked in TTO. In that game, you had to... Uh, basically, there, there were 70 fish species you could find in the game. And for every 10 species you would find, that would be one extra laugh point. But here they've changed it so you no longer need to find every single fish in the game. All you need to do is max out this XP bar. It maxes out to level 70. Which is a way... Way better way to go about it. The only reason you want to get all the fish in this game is just for bragging rights. That that's all. Um, and that is way, way, way better. And we just got a little uh, background for our tomb profile too. And now that we've caught a few fish, all we need to do is talk to this man right here. And you can sell your fish for jelly beans. And you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing off camera. And, uh, we're gonna get our laugh up a bit. So, I'll see you in a few minutes. And we have returned. I am now 19 laugh, and I am at level 4, and I'm also at level 12 fishing. This is quite nice, I must say. And now that we're at level 4, we also have our first training point. Now, what we can do is we need two training points to get a new gag track. But, what we can do is we can prestige one of our tracks. So, is it better to prestige Squirt or Zap? I think I'm gonna go with Zap. What this does is, if you're targeting multiple cogs, it will make it so that the Zap targeting the other cog will do a lot more damage than it would normally. And that's a very, very good thing to have. Prestige Squirt will increase the splash damage and nothing else, and it's not particularly good. It's fine for finishing cogs, but that's about it. Prestige Zap has far more uses 
for it. And it's overall a much better choice, so that's what we're going to be going with for now. And then I think once we get our next training point, we'll probably swap it out for something else entirely. And there we go, we have Prestige the Zapgag Track. And you may have also noticed we're in an entirely new area. This is Donald's Dock. You can get free boat rides here. You know, this game's uh, encouraging you to to get on some random boat and, and just ride it. You know, it's, it's a whole thing. It's teaching the kids to think that in real life, you know, if you just bought a boat, they'll just let you on for free. This game is is giving the kids, you know, like, poor life lessons and shit. We need to send a fucking complaint to Disney. You know, fucking Disney is so irresponsible. Let's get on the boat. What you can also do is you can upgrade your fishing rod here at this store. This used to be located on Anchor Avenue, which is a new street added in Clash. Uh, but in the recent update, they finally moved it to be directly next to the docks, and this is super convenient. This is really nice to have. In original Toontown, if you wanted to upgrade your rod, you would have to buy it from the catalog, and it took a whole week to arrive. It was... Well, not, not a week. I think it was like multiple days, but still. It was awful. It was extremely grindy, and now you can just do it automatically, and it's so nice. Um, there's just so many little quality of life changes in Clash that just I absolutely adore. They just make this game actually fun to play. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But with all of that done, we're now gonna head back to Toontown Central. Some guy just died in the background. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I gotta go uh, do this. This is so sad. This guy died too. What the heck happened? These guys doing like a Rainmaker? They must be doing a Rainmaker or something, which is a, a main boss in this game that was added recently. Now that we're back in Toontown Central, we're gonna go grab our first side tasks too. Uh, cause that's the thing this game has. You can do little tasks on the side to get bonus rewards, such as teleport access and the like. And yeah, we're gonna do that real quick. Oh, Snagglecorn, you're here, that's great! I was just thinking about you. I was feeling a little bit bad for the strange behaviour from the desk jockeys during your training. Loudon was not pleased, to say the least. So I wanted to make it up to you by teaching you about something the Toon Council enables us to do from time to time. Well, they don't exactly let us do it, per se. But if you learn how to do it, it's quite simple to teach other tunes. And that's what I'm gonna do in order to help you out. It's called Teleport Access. Ever since some very smart minds invented the portable hole, We've been using it to travel all over. And if you learn how to handle the portable holes in just the right way, you can teleport to just about any place you'd like. I'm breaking the rules a little bit here, as we're not supposed to share the knowledge around, but I'd be willing to teach you if you help me. It'll allow you to teleport directly here to Toontown Central anytime you like. How does that sound? Right, let's get to work then. Now, our first side task is to defeat 10 cogs in Toontown Central, and that's easier said than done. We can just gradually chip away at that, as we do our main tasks. And after that, the next task we are going to want to grab is from this man right here, Beatty Tester. Hey, help! I am in a world of misery right now. Here's my issue. I hate bugs. Bugs of all kinds. Big bugs, persistent bugs, especially ones you can't seem to get rid of. And there's bugs in Toontown Central everywhere! I can't stand it! I used to have a bug suit to, to, to keep them off for me, but then I had a small misfortune. There I was, trying to protect myself from all of the dangerously bad butterflies, and I stumbled down a street. I could feel them following me, tracing my steps, and then... WHAM! I ran headfirst into a big ugly cog. My bug helmet fell off and I tripped and rolled right out of my suit and boots trying to get away from those cogs. So here I've been ever since, just huddled up in fear of those flying monsters that roam the playground. Could you please help me get my bug suit back? If you help me out, I'll even give you a nifty outfit I've been working on for a while. Please, find my bug suit. Now, this whole task's joke is that the game is in beta and it's very buggy and everything. That's the whole meta joke of this. But the game is almost five years old now. It's still in beta. And this task is just still in the game, even though the game's getting kind of old now. And I just find that really funny. For some... Okay, so I don't know if the game's even still technically in beer. I think it is. But I don't know if they're ever going to leave beer. <laughs> is the thing. So I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, this task is like 
still relevant. But hey, it's still in the game, so that's kind of cool. I'm glad it's still in there. But, uh, it's a bit strange. It's a bit kooky. Oh, and uh, the actual task, we need to recover five parts, which I'm pretty sure the recovery rate for these is pretty high. I don't think I've ever had any issues with this task. And for the third and final daily task for the day, we're going to talk to this man right here. Psst, hey Snagglecorn, come over here. Okay, now here's the deal, Snagglecorn. Nobody really notices me too often, but I'm all over the place. I pick up cog parts, I eat your unwanted furniture, shoot, I even take any extra gags you have lying around. But nobody appreciates me, you know? It's a dodge shame. I'm always here 24-7 picking up trash, eating it, consuming it, digesting it, and I don't get a single thank you. And as far as I sees it, you're gonna help me get what I want for once, capiche? Good. Now I'm feeling a bit peckish, and trash isn't quite hitting the spot. So why don't you go fish me up one of them peanut and butter jellies? Go on now, I'll be waiting for you. So this guy, right here, is the little trash icon. Uh, this thing right here. <laughs> they took this little trash icon, and like personified it into a tune you, you like do a task for. And that's really cute, I really love that. As a kid, because this icon in original Toontown was like so low res, I honestly thought it was some kind of like monster, like Oscar the Grouch or something. But no, that's a cat. <laughs> For some reason he has green gloves. Uh... Wait. Wait, they even made his gloves green in game. You can't see him unless you like peek the camera, but that's actually a really fun attention to detail. I actually really love that. The props to the Clash team, they really know how to put some extra detail into the game. <laughs> And with that, how about we go get our next main task? You have reached level 5! Let's go, we're at 20 lav. Wow, look at the muscles on you, Snagglecorn. No, really. I'm not joking, a whole lot. Now, onto your next task. Professor Gaffar has been working tirelessly to teach the tunes how to laugh effectively, causing the cogs to laugh as well. Cogs simply can't take a joke. However, her jokes and lessons have been spiraling downwards lately and a material is running thin. You will be assigned this task to see if you have what it takes to get a classes back in order. Ah yes, welcome. I presume you're here to learn how to laugh properly, correct? Oh, hush hush, let me jump right into it. I am a professional after all. It all starts with the diaphragm. First, you breathe in deeply. Then, upon hearing the funniest joke, you bellow out into laughter. Let's put it into practice. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because the road was too long to go around. <laughs> uh, you... You didn't laugh. I guess it really is true. The quality of my jokes have been really dropping lately. But there is one way to make them better again. Laughing gas. Yes, we'll supply every tomb with laughing gas so that every joke will be funny. It's foolproof. There's one small issue though. I'm all out of laughing gas. Some cogs came in and stole it while I was practicing my latest knee slapper. They didn't even laugh. You don't think they were deaf, do you? <laughs> and for our next task, we have to recover another thing. You'll love to see it. Also, on my way there, I fished up the thing for Travis because there is a pond right in front of this shop, so I did that too. Ah, oh, you miss, bro. And I don't think we recovered it. Nope. This is so sad. We are also very close to reaching our next gag track. Uh, we only need to use Squirt four more times and Zap about six times. So that's pretty wizard, we're getting there. And we recovered it. Let's go. Awesome! You got the tanks of laughing gas back. But there's hardly any left. How will I ever manage to get this place back in order? Joy buzzers? No. Too shocking. One liners? No, they're even shorter lived. Aha! I've got just a thing in mind. There just might be one tune out there who can help me fix my problems. Jesse! 
I need you to run over to Jesse right away. Please hurry. I have a class coming in a few hours and they are all as funny as a pie gone cold. Because the shops always shared like the same three or four models, uh, because this game had like a dollar budget, they all look tiny and, you know, <laughs> this is supposed to be like a little laughing school to teach people how to laugh and all that. So you'd think it'd be like a big kind of, you know, classroom type setting, but nah, it's just three chairs, you know, two couches, a little chair. It's kind of goofy, you know. <laughs> I just imagine like a swarm of tunes just sitting here and uh, Gaffar just trying to teach them from this little counter. It, it just looks so... Just, you really have to use your imagination with this game at times. Welcome, young grasshopper. I assume you are here to learn the ancient ways of mending jokes forgotten by the most of Toonkind. I do indeed have the tools you seek. Or at least, I had the tools. Now, cogs have the tools. Regardless, there are tools. And the punchline to this is that the cogs have taken the tools. These cogs have taken them, but if you possess the ability to create laughter, laughter that can overtake themselves, have taken. May you be strong in your journey, young toon. So, fun piece of trivia time with Goat Blake. Jesse Jester is modelled after the game's creator, Jesse Shell. Uh, he was in original Toontown, and it's a very cute little cameo. You know, they just give uh, Jesse Shell an actual like appearance in the game. Uh, very loosely based on him. And it's pretty cute. I always enjoy it when uh, games creators get little appearances in games that they themselves made. It's always really sweet. I always enjoy this kind of thing. Well, 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 I got another thing in my mailbox. I wonder what that could be. And let's see what's in here. We got a crown! Okay, so... <laughs> this is the most expensive accessory in the game, I believe. This costs 10,000 jelly beans, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this immediately. <laughs> let, let, let's just get the most expensive accessory, no sweat. Got a lobster chair. We got a fez. Got some shoes, we got some drip. And we got all the emotes, and now we own every emote in the game. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. Love to see it. Holy shit. Is that the drip? And now that we've fished the thing out of the pond, let's go talk to this man right here. And the thing is in the way. Ah! Ever since I was just a little kitten, I've been eating trash. The Toon Council has me contracted to stay in this trash can to go around cleaning up garbage, keep the place clean. But this here trash can wants a taste of the action, you know. So to do this, I need to disguise. Easy Kitty should have just the thing. Head over to his shop and pick me up one of them disguises. Oh! And as I'm on my way, someone is fighting the duck shuffle over here. I'm guessing they have four tunes. Yeah. If they were missing one, uh, we could have joined them. But here. These guys seem to be having fun. You know, just fighting this man right here. <laughs> Oh my! Welcome to my gag shop. Looking for a uh, disguise for you. Sorry, pardon me. These beads really flare up my allergies. I'm unfortunately uh, a bit short in beads at the moment. A swindler came in earlier and straight up swindled my supply. If you could go find that guy, it'd be a really big help. Thanks, the chew. Thanks again. So we must go find a swindler. Oh goddamn! TTC is populated right now. What's the occasion? I don't think I've seen... But I know they did change the way the districts work. Um, so most people will get put in the same district, but goddamn. It is populated. And this place is jam-packed with other people! Alright, so... We're gonna do what Coach Z couldn't do. And, uh, we're... Gonna try and find a swindler. Now... They're usually on Racky Way, you know, which is where we are right now, so I think we should be good. We just gotta find a swindler. You know, we, we, we got this, we got this. And, uh, whoa, uh there is not a swindler on this street. Um, so, you might be thinking, well, what am I gonna do? You know, I, I need this certain type of cog, and it's not on this street where it's most likely to spawn. Well, here's what you do. Districts. There is multiple districts. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 districts in this game. 
And if you can't find a certain coke in a certain district, just go on to another district and you will most likely find what you are looking for. This can take a bit of trial and error. Uh, sometimes the game can be a bit stingy, but usually you should be good. Oh, okay, this guy just... okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, this game can be weird sometimes. And there goes the Duck Shuffler, yet again. <laughs> I was kinda worried, like, wait, is he joining the fight? That that shouldn't be happening. But, uh, no. The only way to get him to fight you is if you, like, intentionally... Just intentionally pick a fight with him. And voila! There he is! See, Coach, was that really so... There's literally another one in the back, too. There's literally another one over there. Coach! Was it really that hard to find a swindle? Come on. You just need to check Wacky Wit. <laughs> and here, we're very, very close to getting our next squirt gag. We just need to use one more squirt after this, and we're good. I just realized we're fighting a level 3, but we should be okay. We're at 20 left now. Um, we just need to get two attacks on him. We should be okay. We should be okay. Unless we get, like, monumentally unlucky, in which case, yikes. But I think we should be okay. See, see, that only did two damage. Weak. Well, here, we're gonna get that level two squirt guide. In Toontown Copper Clash. Get out of here. Boom. And there we go, guys, our next level 2 gag, or our first level 2 gag, actually. That's very nice, you'll love to see it. There we go, that's both of these tasks done. We just need to go turn them in. Ah, yes, these are perfect. For fag again. Please take one on the house. See you sometime soon, Snagglecorn. We're never gonna see you again, goodbye. Exactly as I expected. You have risen above the end and found my tools. But here's the punchline. You are the tools. I've been within you all along. You have the ability to fix any joke you desire. Just kidding. In all honesty, these are the actual joke repair tools. Though I did have them all along, I just wanted you to bring my toilet plunger and my smack scratcher. Thank you, Jesse Shell. Really uh, appreciate it. Thank you for uh, everything you've done in this video game. Like, uh, like making Toontown, and uh, I'm pretty sure you also came back to help with the field officers and like the parties and some other stuff. I think racing too. You know, if you did come back for racing, um, gotta say you did a pretty poor job with Toontown racing, but you know, you, you later went on to make Among Us VR, which is literally the best thing I've ever played. You know, I love Among Us VR, so you know, Among Us VR is pretty good. So I gotta, I gotta give you my. Uh, my, my props. Thank you, Jesse Shell. Joke repair tools? Perfect! Why, I can feel them working already. Now my students will be able to spread laughter far and wide. Thank you again, Snagglecorn. Perfect, this'll do nicely. Now to be just like yous, I gotta get me some gags as well. Bring me five of yeah, level two gags so that I'll be ready for them cogs. So for this task, we need to bring him five level two gags. Um... Which, we don't have the level 2 zap gag yet, so we're gonna have to do that real quick. We're literally 3 zap points away from getting it, so I should be fine. <laughs> hey there, buddy. You, uh, wanting something? Uh, oh, yeah, glue, huh? Uh, that's great, but I'd be glad to help you out. But, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm literally stuck on the floor. Yep, nope, just spilled glue all over my feet. You might ask why I didn't react right away and move them. Well, that's a valid question. I started daydreaming. Now, you might ask what daydream could have possibly been so good that I didn't notice my dire circumstance. This is awkward, but since you're stuck here with me for now, I guess I'll come clean. I've always wanted to be... a mime. Yes, that's right. A mime. I just kinda got lost daydreaming about it often, and I'd be lying if I didn't say I ended up in this sticky situation a time or two about once a week. I'll make a deal with you. If you can get me a reservation for the Merry Mimes on Silly Street, I'll personally give you all the glue that's currently stuck to me. For free! 
So, um, yes, this man is just... I don't think there's any actual glue. You know, I, I don't think, uh... They could have put something there for the funny, but nah, nah, they didn't do that, sadly. And that would have been pretty funny if they actually did that. <laughs> but, um... Yo, come on, get on this clash, you're gonna put some glue on his feet. It's been like five years. <laughs> Alright, so the next shopkeeper we're about to meet is, um... A bit unique. You'll see why in a second. Hello. Okay, what's he doing? What's he? Okay, he's like pushing something. Yo, yeah. okay, the mime's doing something. Okay, yeah, he's 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 swimming. He's doing that, and he's uh, what's he doing? Oh, and he's out of there. He's he's out. He's out of here. And okay, well, the mime, the mime did something. Oh. Oh, and uh, that's our first time seeing a building come down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, <laughs> we just saw a building get uh, get placed down. That was a bit of a disaster, but here, yeah, that's fine. But uh, yeah, there was now a cog building down. And you know what? Should we take it on? What? How many stories does that have, actually? Oh, only one floor. You know what? We can do that. We can make a group. And I guess I can show off the uh, boarding group feature in this game. Ah, you bitch! So, here's how boarding groups work in this game. First, you need to go to the social panel, go to groups, and it will display every single group that's currently in the game. Now, right now, it is about 2 p.m. UK time, so it's a bit dead. <laughs> You, if you're in the UK, you'll definitely have to play later in the day, because this game can get very dead in the mornings. Um, but, you can join any group, and you can make groups for buildings and uh, dungeons, all of that. And it's very nice. And now we just need to wait for people to join. And, oh, oh, it just filled. Let's go. We got, uh, like, 109 laugher here, too. Uh, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> And people could just directly teleport to you as well. It's very ha handy, very convenient. You'll love to see it, and it's all built into the game too. There was originally a website called Toon HQ, which had this had a similar focus, except you couldn't teleport directly to people. Nowadays, it is completely dead. Nobody uses it because we literally have an in-game thing <laughs> that does the exact same thing. So what's the point, you know? Um. Okay, I guess that cat's not coming. <laughs> Alright. And this is our first cog building. So these are essentially dungeons. Uh, where you have to fight like an ensemble of cogs and there's just a bunch of them you have to take out. That is a free EXE connoisseur, that's kinda spooky. Um, we have to focus that guy I think. But we have a bunch of tiny puny level ones as well. <laughs> so uh, yes, let's, let's do that. Dude, that's not gonna kill the connoisseur, but that's fine. Got him. Oh wait, will that kill actually? I don't think that'll kill. And there you go. Let's go. <laughs> That's class. And this is like one of those janky attack animations in the game and I love it. Oh my god. God damn it, Prince Philip. And now, whenever there's a bunch of cogs coming out the elevator, you need to hurry. You need to be fast before the cogs join. Apparently these guys didn't get the memo though. <laughs> you know, to quote Coach Z, hurry means hurry. Because, uh, you know, so you have less cogs to deal with later on. Bruh. Got his ass. <laughs> I'm getting hit. Yeah, these guys do not know how to hurry. <laughs> you know, it's better to be fighting two cogs instead of three. It's quite a lot better, <laughs> I gotta say. Uh, but it is what it is. Oh, 
Oh, and for some reason, this rabbit keeps using level 3 gags on, like, level 1 cogs. I'm guessing they don't have any level 1 gags equipped. I'm guessing they're, like, an Uber or something. Yeah. Um, but ordinarily, you wouldn't want to do that. You would want to try and... So basically, if you see a level 4 cog, try and use a level 4 gag. We got the light bulb. Let's go. Um, the reason being, if you use a level 3 gag against a level 2 cog, you will not get any XP for that. Um, because of the way the leveling works. So you couldn't just go around using birthday cakes on level 1s and getting tons of XP. Uh, essentially. And hey, that's our first cog building defeated. We did it. GG, guys. Yes. You love to see it, and if you go inside the building afterwards... We even get this. This cute little, uh... Cute little indication that you were the one who took down this building. You know, you love to see that. And here, all of these tasks now are just returned to other tunes, so that's nice. Wow, that's amazing! And it seemed so much easier than I thought it would be. But I kind of ended up in a little bit more of a pickle since you were gone. I went straight to work trying to unstick this glue from me and unstick me from this glue. And it turns out my hands aren't exactly the right tool for this and I'm kind of stuck even more. You can maybe find like a spatula or a stick or something. Maybe we can unstick me and you can take all this glue for free. Oh no! I was looking inside the street tunnel here. Almost ready to make a run for it, and I saw one of those cogs. But it wasn't just a cog, but one with... Bug eyes. Those flunkies. I can't stand them at all. Please defeat them. I can't imagine dealing with them. Now we have to kill five flunkies, which is a bit tricky because... Um, boss bots, I think, have the lowest spawn rate out of any cog type in this playground. Um, so that can be a little bit of a pain, trying to find five flunkies, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll find them. Kill them all. Now that we have two level two gags, uh, the next order of business is to go talk to Travis, also. Great, this is perfect. This will work. Thanks, Snagglecorn. You really help a pal out. Say, why don't you have a word with the boss man for a while while he at it? Put in a good word for me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, 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 okay. Hi, Snagglecon. How can I help? A trash cat? Contractually obligated? Normal tune? What is this nonsense? A trash cat already is a normal tune, just like me and you. He just has a passion of hanging around our trash cans and getting rid of our stuff we toss out. It's a mutually beneficial thing, so we let him hang around. Sorry to break it to you this way, but he does this all the time. In fact, you're not even the first person to put in a good word for him today. Go back to him before he runs off. I apologize on behalf of his behavior. Whoa, 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 kid, take it easy. And we just leveled up. Okay, yeah, I admit, it's true. I just wanted some grub. Oh, maybe a beard to look a little more fancy once in a while. But I can pee his back, I promise. I just gotta find something here to uh, give you. Aha, my old clothes, perfect. Thank yous for a lovely lunch. I'll send you a pair of my old clothes through the mail. What? Don't look at me with that. In return, I'll keep eating your trash and taking care of everyone's unwanted things. It's a fair deal, kid. Capiche? Thank you, uh, Danny DeVito Cat. Really appreciate it. Feeling the burn yet? Good. Now let's move on to the next step of your portable hole trailing. Training. <laughs> next is in the legs. You can't skip leg day, even in Toontown. I want you to go and get some gears from me to use as leg rates. Not the ones from those scrawny, weak cogs. Try for the stronger runs around here. Alright, so... We now need to recover a thing, recover two things, defeat five flunkies, and we have one extra task slot open. So I think we're gonna go and find another side task. And yeah, we'll, we'll go do that. We'll try and find another side task. So opening the book, there is the invisible cheesy effect, the firefighter outfit, the zany name tag, or the selfie pose. And you know what? I think we'll go do the selfie pose for now. Because the way this task works is it's kind of a recurring task, so you'll do a task for this guy in Toontown Central, and then another one will unlock in Donald Stock, and the next playground after this, and all of that. So it's best we do that early on. Yeah, man! How's it going, pal? Say, you're a tourist too, right? Just moved here. 
Then come and join the sights with me. Too busy with the Tomb Resistance, huh? Well, there's no reason you can't enjoy yourself. Just look around here, the heart of Toontown. It's so exciting. It's just so hard to decide what to do first. Wait, I know. There's a library nearby. Did you see if they have any travel guides there? And we've got to go talk to Librarian Larry. Uh, Icky, that one Toontown YouTuber who disappeared off the face of the earth and I don't know what happened to him. Hello! How may I help you today? A travel guide? About that. You used to have lots of them, but they suddenly stopped getting returned. You're of the resistance, right? Considering everything, it's possible some of them were taken by those book-loving lobot cogs. I don't know when we'll be getting guides back in stock, but that's your best bet. Okay, and we got another recovery task. Starting to notice a pattern here. Um, that's, that's, yeah, 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 that, this is fine. And you know what? Before we end off this episode, I have one thing I want to do before we leave. Holy shit. It's Big Chungus. Oh my god, he just turned and looked at me. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh, he, yeah, no, no, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. He's, he's too spin. Look at this man. Do you want to talk to this man in person? Would you want to tangle with him? No. He's a destroyer of worlds. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, before we leave this episode, I wanted to show off some codes that you can use in this game to get some free items. Now, the first one we're going to show only works if your account or if your tomb was created before December of 2022. Now, uh, this account and this tune, of course, were made in 2023, so there isn't a way to actually use this code. Um, I don't think it even- I'm not sure if this code even works anymore, truth be told. If you have an older account that you've just been sitting on, hey, might as well use that, right? Very Special gives you a Valentine's outfit. Flame Broiled gives you a burger shirt. Froggy Pad gives you a shirt designed by the really cool Snooey. It's a beautiful dog outside. Happy New Year gives you the 2023 outfit. There's also a bunch of pride capes you can get too. I will leave all the quotes in the description because I won't go through all of them, but there's quite a few capes and it's really cool to see. And here we go, we got the Valentine's shirt, the burger shirt, the frog shirt, the 2023 scarf, 2023 outfit, 2023 shorts, 2023 skirt, and we got the capes and everything too. So uh, how about we quickly deck out Snagglecorn some more? Look at this drip, look at this man right here, look at this beautiful baby boy. I like this outfit quite a bit, this looks very nice. So here, that's gonna do it for episode 2, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this series so far in the comments, and I really want um, you all to just let me know what you want me to do next, and what you'd like to see in this series, what you're most excited for, and all of that. I think that'd be very nice, I'd love to see what you guys would like to see next. And yes, that's gonna do it for this episode. Adios gamers!